Welcome back people. So just like I mentioned from my last video, I'm going to talk about the three different auto invest settings that is available available in uh, M1 Finance. So there are three of them. The first one is the auto invest feature. Uh, if you turn this on, what's going to happen is is that uh, usually when you sign up, uh, normally this is the default option. It is most frequently used by account holders so for example we have five stocks that we want to buy from M1 Finance and if we want to if we have hundred dollars that uh, we earned hard-earned cash from our work you know from our passive income um, from you know selling stuff from eBay or selling stuff online so we accumulated a passive income of a whopping hundred dollars so we want to you decided that you want to invest and grow that money and invest that into M1 finance so if you sign up and uh, put that one hundred dollars into your account what's gonna happen is that the auto invest feature it's turned on so what's gonna happen is that that hundred dollars will be split into five and the uh, the percentages that you allocated for each stock will be split equally and that money that hundred dollars is going to be split equally as well among those five stocks so in this video I'm showing say just like I mentioned you earned hundred dollars from your hard-earned cash and you want to invest that and you have the auto invest turned on what's gonna happen is that our M1 finance algorithm is that's gonna split those that hundred dollars that you invested into the into twenty dollars five into five equal piece, uh, pieces pieces or percentages. So that means the hundred dollars you'll go uh, it will the twenty dollars will go to stock A, the other twenty dollars will go to stock B, and so on and so forth. So usually this is when I signed up for M1 M1 finance this is turned on so I had initially uh, left from my previous videos I showed you guys I had 1500 invested and uh, I already had my stocks lined up I had my portfolio pies lined up and that 1500 was divided up into the percentages that I set into M1 finance when I initially signed up and invested so that was easy and the second one is the auto invest my cash over a set amount so for this one you set a threshold in m1 finance if you go online and you can set that amount into for example in this video i set it to uh, uh 100 dollars you have to check m1 finance and see the, li the limit what uh, what threshold you can set the limit to uh, just for the sake of this video I'm using hundred dollars so let's say you you ha you set the threshold limit to 100 and you again earned two hundred dollars and you invested uh, two hundred dollars into M1 finance so what's gonna happen is that if you invest that two hundred dollars one hundred dollars will be reserved in your cash and the rest the remaining one hundred dollars will be will go into your portfolio and will be invested into those stocks that you have chosen so pretty easy and I don't use this one because there's no need for me and uh, I actually use the third option which is the uh, don't auto invest my cash option uh, I moved from the auto invest to the auto invest off because I want full control on how I invest my money because I can set uh, different percentages I can set different amounts and so on and so forth when I'm using M1 finance so it's just my preference some people just choose the auto invest and set and forget it but for me I want to invest uh, my cash manually so when I put in money from my bank that uh, money will go into my cash box and from there I can uh, divvy up 
how I want my money to uh, be invested into my portfolio. So that is it. Uh, like I, like I mentioned, uh, our invest on is the default when you sign up in M1 Finance. It is usually uh, used by account holders, and the second one is the auto invest. Uh, so you set a threshold, and the third one, which the one I which one I pr preferred the most is the auto invest off feature. So that's how e easy it is, guys. So I'll put down the link on the uh, support or guideline on how to use the auto invest settings in M1 Finance actually from their website. That's it. Uh, thank you for watching, and let me know what uh, video you guys want to see again. Thank you. Bye.